Hello! Welcome back! This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest IX! In the last episode, we did, we went up to the Realm of the Mighty, because I want to show you those boss trolls to turn into a sage. Now, I apologize, because something went wrong with my save state, so I accidentally saved over an older save state. And I kind of screwed you guys out of seeing what the, uh, what learning the Sage ability is. Basically, I remember, you just kind of have to, well, I didn't, sh I wasn't going to show how to defeat those monsters, those boss trolls, or whatever they were, um, king trolls, or whatever the hell they were, the purple trolls. I wasn't going to show how to defeat them using, um, using Frizz, but, uh, Basically, what you have to do is buff up your magic attack pretty high and then get him below 500. Anyways, yeah, I, and I apologize for not showing off that, but I finished off that quest. So, yeah, we're ready. We're going to be doing a lot of busy quests. These next few episodes are going to be a bunch of busy quests because I basically did every all the requirements off screen and stuff, and I'm just going to kind of show you how to do it and then go on to the next one. And then I'm going to cut to me finishing them, another save state. So we still have these two to go, and I'll show you how to do that. But, I was leveling up Maytel, because now she is a sage. So let's go through her stats and attributes, as you can see. Also, another thing I did was I took everybody, and I broke up everyone what they were going to learn. People, they're um, basically... Certain uh, characters like Kenshin, he's going to be Master Swordsman, and he's going to be, um, let's go, uh, no, 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 damn it, alright, so Kenshin's going to be a Master Swordsman, and I made him a Master Warrior as well, and a Master Gladiator, I also brought up his whip skills all the way, so he's a Master Whip guy, this will help us get through these uh, weapon skill things uh, faster. So he's also he's also a master uh, minstrel. And I thought there was one other thing. Oh yeah, I made him a bow. I made him also master bow, so he can use bows as well. Now through leveling up all these uh, things, he, we got tons of alcohol alcoholates. Maybe I'll go through those quick. Uh, so let's go through abilities. I got Gigagash with the whip. I got hit. I'll show off these abilities. I'll probably make like a, I don't know, maybe a bonus episode showing off a bunch of, a bunch of these uh, abilities. Twin Dragon Lash, Hallowed Arrow, Reign of Pain, all this stuff. Uh, what else? Okay, so yeah, we're an Omni Vocational. Swordsman with attack plus 30, Whipmaster, Bowmaster, Courage, Focus, Lithness, all this good stuff. So let's show off the next character. What did I make? What did I make Nino? He's a Master Paladin. I got him shields. Everyone's got shields. I made him Master Hammer. No, this is not what I want to show off. I also made him Master Staves. Not, uh, not wands. Uh, I made him Master Claws and Fisticuffs. He's also a Master Martial Artist. Let's see, anything else? Hammers, uh, yeah. And I think that's it. So let's look at... Let's look at his stuff. Yeah, he's got these staff things, Deliverance, Party Pooper, Crushed Ice. Block and, he's got all the block and spiel stuff. Hammer, heartbreak, penny pincher, baggy last, which we'll need. Uh, boulder toss, windsickle knuckle sandwich, which is the Hassan spirit punch from uh, Dragon Quest VI. Multi fist, boulder toss. That's a pretty good ability. And then all this stuff. All right, next per yeah, he's omni vocational. Yada yada yada. So let's ne let's look at the next person. Ira, she is very versatile now. She is a master boomerang, a master axe. She's a master ranger. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff off screen. She also knows she can also equip shields, and also I mastered her in knives. I mastered her as a thief. And 
and uh, what else? Oh, you know what? I didn't finish her off in Arm Armentalist, but I think I do later, so don't worry about it. And if not, I can always just add those points. Anyways, yeah, so this is all the good stuff with her. Let's look at this stuff. Yeah, it's just basically the same, plus HP plus, or a strength plus, all this good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, make sure to finish off our mentalist. And yeah. Oh yeah, did you guys want to see these levels? I kind of leveled everyone up, again, at the blowhole, at the boho, and then eventually I did some grotto stuff. Oh, damn it, Maytel. I want to show Maytel, stop it. Let me show Maytel. Yeah, I'm, this is, takes a little bit, but you people want to see it. I made Maytel Master Wands and, and Sage and Priest and Spear and Shield and, uh, and Fan. I made her Master Fan as well. I think that's it. I didn't really have her do much. She learned all these spells. Zam, now we have Black uh, or Dark Elemental Magic. Zamol is like uh, Zam, but hits the group or everybody. Divine Intervention, I forget what that does, but yeah, she get all these spells. Pretty nice for Sage, I guess. So she's got healing and attack spells. Now, with the Sage, basically, um, uh, basically she doesn't get, they don't get like high magic might of, like a wizard would, or high magic mending like a uh, cleric would. They get like half of that. That's why actually I mastered a wizard and a sage with, uh, or wizard and a, a cleric with her, so that she can get like the max magical might and mending. All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do these two. Well, basically, I kind of explain. You did, uh, go to battle records. Oh yeah, I also made like some stuff uh, alchemy off screen. I'll just put that in the video description. And we have over a hundred alkalates because we learned a lot of them. And yeah, I'll just I'll just kind of quickly go through. And if you need to see them, just pause the video. But yeah, I got a lot. Anyways, let, let's uh let's go over here to the quest list. I'm gonna show you how to do these two quests right now. Eight, uh, whatever this is, 93 eggs, elastic or whatever. That's the old man in Worm Wormwood. He wants us to defend. We have to do it near Wormwood Creek. And then sucking up to the buckler. Basically, you just got to defend with your shield ten times. That's going to take a little bit of time. So let us uh, let us go do. Let me sh let me show you those quests. Cause like I mentioned, damn, it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Probably because I've been playing Breath of Fire. But um. Yeah, let me show you how, how this uh, this one quest works, and then I'm just going to finish these two quests and meet you back, and we're going to do more quests. Yeah, so this is going to be very quest-oriented. So what we want to do here is let these a-holes attack us. So defend them. And yeah want to defend and if someone could attack me that would be lovely there we go now yeah you gotta defend I'll show it off one more time but yeah Wormwood Creek area you have to do it there we go this will help do the eggtastic quest All right, let's beat their faces. Ooh, he stepped in and died. Dead. Dead, yay! All right, so there you go. That's how to do it. And now we defend it against four attacks. So yeah, you just gotta keep doing that. And basically, I'm just gonna finish that and then meet you back wherever I'm gonna meet you. Anyways, I finished off the buckler quest, so let's go Let's go back to the buckler guy. I didn't finish off the other one, and yeah, I'll show off some equipment in a few minutes. Give me a second. Alright, swine dimples. Warp. Action activate. Yeah, I made some stuff, some alchemy things, and I was going through grottos. Yeah, now my levels are even higher. Again, 
It's because of the grottos. So let's show you what I made. I made silver shields. I think that's it. I made a sun crown because I stole those from some guys that I'll show you when we go back to the realm of the mighty as I was looking for those uh, trolls. Silver shield. I got a, a dangerous bustier in the um, in one of the grottos and I was able to make it into a divine bustier and a silk bustier and all that. And nothing really different on her, but yeah, I made a bunch of silver shields, so that's cool. Alright, so, now let's go see the buckler guy. And get our next quest. And we're I'm gonna get, like, a ton of quests. So you just gotta kinda defend with your shield. It's not too hard, it just takes some time. So, we did it, yay. And what does he give us? He gives us a white shield. All right, now we're going to do a lot more quests, busy quests. We're, like I said, next couple of episodes, if you want to see, uh, you know, story progress, you're just going to have to wait a couple days. And okay. So if we come over here, we're going to take another quest because we mastered fans. So let's talk to this lady. Okay, so we had level 30, 30 skill points in our fan, and this lady wants us to do something for her. She basically wants us to go get these freezing feathers. Yeah. And yeah, we'll do it, why not? And I'll show you what, I'm not going to show you what, you know, what, mo I'm going to show you the monsters you need to defeat. Uh, but I'm not going to actually do it on screen. I'm, you know, this is just a way for me to get through some quests faster. Alright, 8877. Okay, so we got that one. 89. 89 is... Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Alright, this next quest is a fisticuff, a fisticuffs quest. Let's run over here. And down here, this guy over here is all about fisticuffs. Yay! Yeah, if they're if they're drop quests, I'm not gonna show. I'm just gonna show you which monsters you have to beat in order to get the drop quest. So yeah, this guy talks with a lisp or whatever. I don't really care for this. Like, I don't know, I think it would be funny as if you, if they talked and this, and this happened. But reading it is just weird. That's what Dragon Quest IV was weird about. But, anyways, we need to defeat ten war turtles with Knuckle Sandwich. And that's pretty easy. And you have to do it unarmed. So, yeah. And we got this quest. Now, let's go, let's talk to 83, which I believe is this guy up here. This guy is the Bowmaster. talk to him. 83, yeah, this is the bow guy. And basically what he wants us to do is kill 10 pectorals with the fluttering disaster ability. And so yeah, let's do this too. You need to have levels in the 93. Okay. Alright, so yeah. Alright. So let me show you what we need to do. Alright. Let's go outside. I'm going to try to explain this to the best of my abilities. Alright, because like I said, we're going to go through quests like crazy because because these busy quests are going to finish. So what we want to do is... I am really getting mad because I keep doing that. And it's because I've been playing Breath of Fire. You're the man of many names, blah blah blah. We already got that. Alright, so if we come to the defeated monster list, I will show you which... No, by family. Um, bird. And basically, we need to fight these guys. These guys are in the Snowberian coast. Okay. And Snowberia. And basically, you just gotta come running around and running around and fight all these guys, these apocalypses, until you get... Until you get one of those freezing feathers to bring back to Fanny. So, next thing we want to do, yeah, that's the quest. I'm not, again, I'm not showing it because it's just you gotta keep fighting them over and over and over. Next place we want to go to is Bat Sir. Alright, and I'm gonna show you how to do this thing. Let's equip the bow. 
which actually bows are actually pretty strong in this game they're even strong look it's even stronger than uh, the sword and let's let's take off your 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 fist now let's see if I can run into the damn thing or you know what I'm just gonna meet you in battle with the guys that I need to fight all right we are in battle with these guys these pectorals and they're too stunned to move so what we need to do with whoever is the master of the bow we need them to use the flutter disaster which deals heavy damage to birds which these guys are so let's just defend and look at that damage look 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 yum so yeah you just gotta do that I think what ten times and then you're good now let me go show you where the war, war turtles are so you can use knuckle sandwiched and though these, these guys are basically just south so I'm just gonna meet you there Okay, here we are on the Urzdar Ur Urzdus marshlands, and now we're gonna fight some war turtles. I'm just gonna take a couple out because I'm just gonna show you. So you gotta use knuckle sandwich on these guys. I don't know if it's gonna kill them, but who knows? All right. So yeah, there was one other thing I gotta show you. I totally forgot. All right. Cool. Spirit Punch! Look at that, see? Look at that. We totally kicked ass. And we get a tortoise shell. Yay! So yeah, that's what you gotta do down here, defeat ten of them. So l let me do one... Err. Let me do one last thing. Swine dimples. I forgot to do this last thing. Damn it. Let's quickly go in here. I meant to talk to the buckler guy again. No, you're not the buckler guy. This guy. And you finally finished the shield training, yes. And we have to kill ten killing machines with block and spiel. And then he'll recognize us as an apprentice. Awesome. Cool. We'll do it. And yeah, alright. We acquired this quest. Yippee. So let's go. Now, the killing machines can be found in the Giddish Empire. Oh, damn it, I hit that button again. I'll get it down, people. Alright, let's go to Giddish Empire. Get him, pals. This Anyways, now we gotta fight these... These... Ah, good. Right here. So, what you wanna do, I guess... I guess you can just use the block and spiel ability constantly. But if you want to, you might wanna, um... Here we go. You might wanna, uh... This is why I had everyone learn... Where the hell is it? There we go. And, uh... This is why, actually why I had everyone learn shields. But the thing is, you might want to use, um... Hey, that, that kills them pretty good. Nah, never mind. I was gonna say, you might want to lower their attack a little... Or their, their HP a little bit and then hit them. But there you go. So, yeah. We beat them. And in the next episode, I'll show you all the rewards we'll get for these quests. And then we'll do some more quests. Yes, because we have over 20 to do. So this has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.